African leaders have been tasked to sustain the demand for equity in World Health Organization pandemic agreement to regulate and address inequalities such as limited access to vaccines. Diagnostics in the next round of World Health Organization's pandemic agreement negotiations starting 4th to 15th November in Geneva, Switzerland. Africa bearing a disproportionate burden. We must ensure this does not happen again. An equitable pandemic agreement must be beyond mere promise. It must establish binding commitments that ensure all countries, regardless of income, si income or size, can protect their populations. We have over 365,000 hepatitis C, or people living with hepatitis C in Uganda, but with zero treatment coverage for hepatitis C. In fact, we do not have treatment for hepatitis C, yet this is a curable disease. AIDS Health Care Foundation and other partners launched a Save Our Society campaign with an agenda of demanding an agreement which suits all nations. According to the Country Programs Director of AIDS Health Care Foundation Uganda, Henry Magala, the African continent should push for the support of pandemic preparedness and health infrastructure. Magala wants critical issues to be attended to if the African continent is to improve its health care sector. So the first one is regional production capacity, concrete mechanism to facilitate the local production of vaccine, vaccines, diagnostics, and therapeutics in the global south. This requires a binding roadmap for the transfer of knowledge, technology, and long-term sustainable financing. Living survivors of tuberculosis, hepatitis B, Mpox and COVID-19 pandemics say if the agreement doesn't cater for inclusion of Africa, health status will deteriorate. Very many missed opportunities for those who are being diagnosed for hepatitis B, missed opportunities for those who were diagnosed earlier but cannot access the treatment anymore. As we speak right now, our country just last, uh, about two weeks ago, is when it got vaccines for hepatitis B after a period of over eight to nine months. These survivors shared the experiences while battling the illnesses and this could be worsened. Oh. Limited financial support, lack of regional production capacity among African countries greatly affects health care. All this responds to the call of Africa's inclusion and demand for equity in the World Health Organization pandemic agreement. The agreement must secure long-term binding financial commitments from high-income countries to support pandemic preparedness and... Uh, response in the low middle uh, income countries am i even you come for you bc yes one two three no equity no